This time on Boneyard Revivals, a street machine returns to the streets for the first time in 22 years. So the video that we're going to be doing today that I wanted to release for you guys on this car isn't the complete video. We had a lot of other plans um, and a lot of different other video ideas that we wanted to do to be the first time you guys saw this car. But so many of you guys were asking about it that I decided to take whatever clips we had over the past year or two and put a video together for you guys so you guys can see this car. Because hopefully in 2024, you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of this thing. This car has an awesome story and you're going to have to wait until 2024 to uh get the full story on this car but for now enjoy the video that we put together for you of us getting it to actually drive for the wheels to touch the pavement for the first time again in 22 years hope you guys enjoy what we got going on in here well we're um, gonna be doing some work on the, the front down now and um we got some brake issues so um there's one over there on the right and one on this side on the left. So we gotta fix that. Um, we gotta fix it up. We're gonna yep. get it back on the road. Be doing some burnouts real soon. Yep. <laughs> Maybe go to Time Flyer. <laughs> Apparently, we're having an issue. This caliper is not collapsed, or it's, it, we collapsed it, but it's not getting the juice or something. It's a rubber line. Why does that feel incredibly hard? But, well, we got that line busted loose, so... Yeah, basically, we're having issues. This caliper is pretty much doing nothing. Uh, so we gotta adjust that. No, and I think we have a bad wheel cylinder on the driver's side rear. Um, we had it apart, because that one's not doing anything either, so we're gonna have to get a new wheel cylinder for the back. Pumping it. Must be doing a good job. He hasn't yelled at me for not holding the flash right, right in about 10 years, so. Wait, you're sticking an airline on that end and blowing back through it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, raunch. Oh, yeah. Woo! Hold on, I gotta turn on the valve first. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 22-year-old gas right there. It's it's <laughs> yellow. Oh, there's yeah, there's there's liquid in there. It's yellow. Oh Definitely yeah. Yellow. Yeah, that's that's mm, that's delicious. That's that's still that. I mean, heck, that might be that like might a, that might still be usable to today's standards of fuel. That smells like that smells like a milkshake, folks. No, it does not. That does not smell like a milkshake. Are you kidding me? Just a little bit. Too no, <laughs> it smells nasty. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, if it started clearing up, is that all you're gonna do, or? Yeah, we're pretty windy on here, folks. I'm putting my finger over it and then releasing it. That's what that noise is, because the blowback. Filler pipe. early anti suction or anti you're not you're standing on the cord you're standing right there <laughs> early anti siphon device what's going on in there it's sending the camera in there wait what's that stuff flying all over it old fuel remnants over there. So you see that stuff, folks? Oh, wow. That's 
all fuel over here. It's like a warm. Right there. Hold it right there. Fuel particles. Kind of looks scary, doesn't it? Oh wow. No, that's that is reasonably clean. I mean. We're going to do some filter changes. It's going to loosen well, yeah, that stuff there's up gonna over be, time. There's going to be a bunch of gunk in there, but I mean, for the most part, for what... That's not what no. I would... That's not no, what I would expect I've, for I've how long the car sat. And, yeah. Because did you... you? I mean, you drained it, like, empty that you did. That ran out of fuel. Yeah. No, well, that's, that's probably what helped it out right there. And then probably what was ever left in the tank probably found a way to evaporate mm -hmm. over how many years. So, yeah, that's not bad. Sort of not... Don't look that bad. No. Yeah. I wouldn't be afraid to put gas in that. Mm-mm. <laughs> Wait, come back, come back, your trunk's open. Weak. That was so weak. What was that? What was that? That was a whole lot of disappointment right there. Sheesh. 305s. Big L. Dropping the headliner out of this. It's been drooping for heck a good good 20 years or so now, so we have to pull the screws out because like I said, it's been drooping pretty bad for years now. But we'll get in here and we'll uh we'll get her out. Yeah. You got it all out. That'll be a lot nicer than having something so dang droopy. It's hard to see out of this car anyways, but when you got the headliner hanging down, it's kind of a bigger pain in the butt. video on Boneyard Revivals. Hope you guys did enjoy. Happy New Year. The next time you see this car, we have a lot more work to do. We're going to be putting another engine in it. And uh, what do you think? Doing more burnouts? Oh, yes. We're probably going to be doing some more burnouts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Have a happy New Year.